everybody, welcome back to the Movie Trivia Showdown Tournament season. It keeps on moving, and this is a massive tournament. It means so much, obviously, for the the stakes of the competitors in general and building up their legacy as players, but for the factions, every point counts, and it's three big points. I'm Christian Harloff, joined, as always, by Mark Ellis. Oh, well, you say move and I say Chuglin, Christian, because you look at these two competitors that we have here today, iconoclastic personalities, beloved both in the movie trivia showdown. Video Drew taking on Griffey Newman downtown, as he may be. So is Video Drew going to be uptown? Is one of them going to sing a Billy Joel tune or just win a match and advance in the tournament? Both have showed a lot of potential in their career. Newman been very hot since he was a rookie earlier this season, and I guess still is, but he doesn't play like a rookie anymore more and video drew seems to gain more experience strategy with every match is she going to capitalize on all that knowledge today by maybe a slight upset of newman all right well we're going to find out exactly how our competitors got to this point right now video drew versus marisol mckee the the result aside this was some of the best play that i've seen you have since you joined the league i've been planning all two days that I've known about this match uh, for a devastating KO by by the Statue of Liberty because she's just so tall and and that's not even fair. What's the dungeon's process after a loss? Great question. The hardest part about being a celebrity in the movie trivia Schmodown sphere? As video drew, as most of you know me, I'm a weird, strange, dark, and distempered person from apparently Earth. Here, in my real life, in my real home, with my real dog, I'm regular Drew, and it is one word, but that is more acceptable for some reason. Griffin Newman, it's either him or Josh Horwitz right now for me for Rookie of the Year. But also Video Drew, another most improved player of the year. Yes, let's talk about me. <laughs> she has been an entirely different player, and I hate to give you too much credit, but congratulations, you, you've really been doing a great job with her. And I couldn't be more excited to play today's opponent, downtown famous person Griffin Newman. Jen, we all know my Christian name is Downtown Griffey Nooms, but I have a little nickname internally. If you mention oh. poop one more time, I'm leaving I'm not gonna video. mention poop. I'm not gonna mention poop. Give Thank me some you. credit. Now, Griffin's had a lot of success in his career, and I'd like to get in on that. And I've heard the best way to do so is to become good at trivia and then beat them at trivia, and then you get all their fandom. Video Drew is the real deal. She, she cares about it. Um, she cares about winning. She cares about losing. Newman, I've never talked to before. Now, seeing him and what he did in the free-for-all, that's impressive. Griffin and I actually shared the stage together for a brief moment during this year's free-for-all, where we talked about 13 going on 30 and how it actually involves a liminal space issue regarding the time travel portion. She doesn't wake up the next morning. I believe she's in the closet when it happens, 13 going on 30. I think it's a combination of both. She's in the closet, but then when she transforms, it's in the morning in the bed. There's a weird time space, but 13 going on 30 is the answer, yeah. And I thought that was cool. That is something I'm looking for in a new best friend. He will at some point probably hold a belt. If it's not this season, it's going to be eventually. They call me Dennis Quaid. Do you know why? No. Because I redefine the rules of what a rookie can be. Boom. He was in that movie, The Rookie, where he's like very old. I got the reference. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying. And while Griffin doesn't exactly fill the Tom-sized hole in my heart and also the rest of my body be normal, I decided that he and I will become fast friends after I destroy him. So Griffin, I hope you're ready for some laughs, for some fun, and for some normal Drew end of sentence. All right, as you see, Griffey Nooms is, the, the way he's playing, this guy he started with Mark Hoyk, then to Jacoby Bancroft, had a great run in the free-for-all. 
I get texts from this guy all the time. He wants to play. He wants to play. He wants to continue to play. It doesn't matter if it's a tournament. It doesn't matter if it's teams. He just wants to keep playing. He's built for the competition. Video Drew has shown how she has changed as a player dramatically. You look at that match against Dewberry this year. You look at what she did in the free-for-all, and you look at what she did against Marisol McKee. This is a very different Video Drew from a few seasons ago. It has been, and the matriculation to Video Drew in the movie Trivia Schmodown, look, she was beloved from the start, whether it was her partnering up with Tom or her going out on her own. But now we see this season, Christian, she's just a little more locked in, focused. No shortage of personality, and she still has all of those many quirks of hers, but she just seems to be a little quicker on the draw and know the game a little bit better. Maybe that's a product of studying harder. Maybe it's a product of her other gig, writing words at Rotten Tomatoes for idiots like me to say on camera. But when you go to Griffin Newman, you see a guy who was drafted high for a reason his manager tom dagnino one of the few decisions that man's ever made in his life or many past lives he said this is the guy i'm pinning my hopes on now he's not the only rookie for the finstock exchange that has excelled this season but he may just be the leader of the pack he can capitalize on that promise by getting a big win in this tournament yeah, that's right. The Finstock Exchange is going with the majority of rookies minus the Barbarian, and this is the first one to go at it. This is the first Finstock Exchange rookie to play, first Finstock Exchange player to play in the tournament, and he's got to do it against Video Drew. This is going to make a statement, or it's going to be an uh-oh time for the exchange. But, Mark, are you ready to get going? <laughs> I like that. Uh-oh time. Is that, is that what you say to your kids? A hundred percent. Uh-oh. And that's what Video Drew might say, should you win here today? Well, is there another time that it is right now? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia schmodown. Three rounds in the ultimate schmodown singles tournament. Introducing first, representing the dungeon with a record of two wins, three defeats. She is Video Drew. Video Drew at the hair salon. It is an absolute wonder. It is so great to see you, Video Drew. How are you? I'm great. This is actually my house. And oh. that actually brings up a, a really good point. Christian, uh, oh. real quick before we invite anyone on, I know we have a big celebrity coming on today, so we just have to ask you to act cool. Just be cool I'll, about this. Because I will try. Because I'm normal. He's a yes. big celebrity. I'm yes. going to be famous. Are we talking about Kaiser? No. We're oh. talking about um, uh, 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 Griffin from uh, Misters of the Universe. He's he's in a bunch oh. of movies. Uh, I just want to know that today is normal, normal Drew Day. Okay. Mark? Okay. Well, uh, Christian, I hope you take that note. Video Drew, you've been playing it pretty cool recently in the movie Trivia Schmodown. You seem to, I don't know, just be a little more focused on the game, on the crafts, on, on, on getting the wheel the way you want it, on maneuvering your way through difficult rounds and questions. So what do you credit that to? Is that in any way part of being a member of the dungeon? Or is that just you saying, I'm going to get better and better at this game? And you certainly have. Oh, well, as like a, as a pretty and popular normal girl, uh, I want what every Hollywood starlet coming to Hollywood would want, which is just to um, beat competitors, do very well, and watch all the movies. Haha, ha, it's my favorite hobby, just watching all the movies. And her opponent, representing the Finstock Exchange, with a record of two wins, no defeats. He is downtown. Rappi! Nooms! Downtown Griffey Nooms, the signature black jacket, pink cap, pink gloves, sunglasses to boot. Griffey, what has been going on? How have you been prepping for this match against Video Drew? Well, I thought virtual matches were done, so I uh, tore down the green yoga mat I had been using as a makeshift green screen, so now this is my new signage. Uh, but you mentioned my trademark jacket. I actually think this is uh, time for a little bit of a, a, a brand refresh, if you don't oh. mind. Okay. Let's see what you got. 
Well, it's been very subtle, but this jacket I've been wearing for my previous matches in the free-for-all was uh, to commemorate my role in uh, Masters of the Universe Revelation, where I say the role of Orko. And uh, those previous matches were in the lead-up to the release of the show, and I thought it was a good way to subtly get excitement out there. The internet loves talking about uh, Masters of the Universe, is very calm with their discussion. Um, but now that the show's out there and people are able to make up their minds, I, I think it's a little bit... I don't know, a little bit gauche for me to be wearing this jacket. Well, what what would you be doing? I just have a backup jacket, yeah. I'm just oh, like that. Oh, yeah, it's I mean, not... the show's out. Now I really need to step things up. You, you got to stop, stop sucking up to me here because I love that shirt. Yeah, I, I was going to say, you know, Christian, I watched Masters of the Universe. I saw Orko. I did not see Griffin Newman, though. So no. it's an animated show, and so they don't really have a lot of live-action characters. So I guess he got written out. Anyway... Griffin, you're here now, and you're not going to get written out of this match. You might, in fact, win. How are you going to do that over such a tough opponent? Uh, well, you know, I, I appreciate all the kind words you said uh, earlier about how I have not played like a rookie, but there's a secret I've been holding on to this entire time. As my three previous appearances in the movie trivia showdown, my Hoik match, my uh, Bancroft match, and my, my free-for-all match, uh, I, I, I wasn't playing alone. Uh-oh. Uh oh! I, mean, I was playing with the support of a dying gallbladder, a completely oh. failing organ that was causing chronic pain inside my body since the last match. Really? Oh, that her out. Magic? No, not. I mean, it was oh, science. They went oh. in. What, what do you call it when they put it's surgery. sort of a matrix style what? surgery where they go in through your belly button and then they oh. have to make a big. Not it's not, a, but it makes sense. All right, appreciate that. The point is, I'm I'm I I've been playing with like bat weights. Up until now, you know what I'm saying? Yes, absolutely. And now I'm free. Now I'm flying high. Well, look, you've been playing great. Your opponent's been playing great, and we're ready to get going here. Good luck to you, Griffey Nooms. We're about to bring in video Drew and get the match started. Our competitors have arrived in the virtual battlefield. The rules of round number one. How do they go? Round number one, regardless of how many gallbladders you currently have on your person, is the same set of rules for each competitor. Eight questions are asked to the field of competition. These questions are worth one point. There's no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in round at number one. We'll ask the question. You have 15 seconds to write down your best attempt at an answer with whatever surface you feel comfortable writing on. Yes, I guess it can even be a yoga mat, as long as we can read it. And once we ask you by name or nickname to show us your answer, at the same time you verbalize it, we will honor said attempt. I'll remind each competitor of your three usages of the JTE rule throughout the duration of the match. He's about the same size as Orko, just no magic powers. That's your repeat if you need to hear a question again. You're not sure you heard it right the first time. Use a JTE rule. You also each have one challenge you may utilize at any point throughout the three-round match. Not sure you like to question ruling you can bring in your manager while we'll deliberate to our heart's content and it will ultimately be your manager that confirms and ratifies if said challenge is taking place so christian those are the rules of round number one and for you folks at home the gallbladder is a more hollow organ where bile is stored in the lower intestine so a lot of the advice that gucci gave to newman probably got stored in his gallbladder filling it up and thus needing it to be removed oh Good news is there's a lot more where that came from. All right, so we ask, Griffy Nooms, are you ready? Yeah, I regret wearing the double jackets. I'm sweating a lot, but I am ready. <laughs> All right, and video Drew. Yeah, I just want to say right before we start, I'm a huge fan. I love baby Grogu. He's my favorite. Uh, a big fan. Thank you. Thank you. And let's get ready to Schmodown. Round number one. Question number one. We're going to start with horror slash thriller. Which actor plays the now grown Damien Thorne in Omen 3, The Final Conflict? Diana right, Fox, easy. Uh, most major surgery you've ever had. I will see you at hernia and see if you can raise me. Nose. Five. Four. Like a job? Three. No. Two. Got it broken in a fight. One. And pens down. Hands up, please. And we start with Griffin Newman. Yeah, you ask me, uh, nose job's less of an occupation, more of a hobby, but the name of the actor, I believe, is Sam Neill. That is correct. Right. Video Drew. Starting off all this, easy, PJ. It's Sam Neill. There you go. Tie game thus far. Round, uh, Sherry, question two. Sam Neill? I gotta watch that. All right, let's go to Family Films. Your next question for a point. Which Oscar-winning actress stars as the character Molly in the 2007 film Mr. McGorium's Wonder Emporium. 
That's uh, brings back memories, doesn't it, buddy? I saw that movie because you and I were reviewing it in the early days, and I saw it by myself. It was just wow. me and a bunch of families. Weird. That's great. Five. Weird. Four, three. Wish I had video. Two. One. Pens down. Video, Drew. It's Natalie Portman. I don't know why I did an accent. Griffey News. Your classic Oscar bait, Natalie Portman. <laughs> Absolutely. And we get to the third question. We're going to go with action adventure. How many installments in the Die Hard franchise did John McTiernan direct? Ooh, good question. Great question. These questions have been... Yeah. I mean, the writers are in tournament season just as much as the competitors. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hands down. Hands up, please. And this time we start with uh, Griffey Noobs. Two. Yes. And Video Drew. Oh, I, I wrote the number, two. You did indeed. What a match so far. We have a tie game tied at three as we get to our next question. That's right. We go to the world of fantasy sci-fi, where Eternia lives. Your question for a point. This 2001 science fiction psychological thriller follows a teenager who continues to see a figure in a monstrous rabbit costume known as Frank. Janet? Um, sorry we were roughhousing and I ended up breaking your nose that time, Christian. Um, interesting no. you bring it up because... Yeah, sure. How old? A 16. Five. Four. Testosterone. Three, two. I have jumped. One. Pens down. Hands up, please. Um, and we start with video, Drew. Let's pretend like I didn't get this. Donnie Darko. But you did. And Griffey Nooms. Donnie Darko. We keep the tie score as we get to the fifth question. Directors. What was the first collaboration of director Martin Scorsese with actor Leonardo DiCaprio. We uh, recently celebrated the anniversary of another famous fight. Not a boxing match, but that time Robin Ventura thought it was a good idea to charge Nolan Ryan. That's the stupidest thing anyone's ever done. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down, hands up, please. And we are going to start with Griffey Noobs. I had to switch pens, so apologize for the bad handwriting, but the title of the film is Gangs of New York. You got it. And video Drew. It's not NY, but I'll let it pass. It's Gangs of New York. Gangs of New York. <laughs> NY. We're going to take NY, and we'll take that scribble there, too. So it is 5-5. Five, yeah. five, five. And here we go. Next question. They're getting lazy with the abbreviations, these kids. Your next category is in the world of comedies. Uh. <laughs> I believed Griffin and Video Drew, not Christian. Your question. Over three films, which two lead characters found themselves on an excellent adventure, went on a bogus journey, and found out they had to face the music? Yeah. Christian looks perplexed. He is not going to get this question right. No, I wouldn't. We still have two perfect rounds going, by the way. We do. It's five, five. Five, four, three. Two, one, pens down, and video drew. So how we go from the Omen 3 to uh, Bill and Ted? Yes, and Griffey Nooms. Uh, the answers are William S. Preston Esquire and Ted Theodore Logan, but I didn't have time to write all that down. That's okay. Bill and Ted will suffice. Uh, six, six, and we get to question seven. Which actress, this is for new releases, excuse me, new releases. Which actress stars as the Grand High Witch? in the 2020 remake, The Witches. It's a rare iteration of someone saying 2020 over just the 2020. What did I say? The kids prefer. You went full 20, 2020, which I, I appreciate. Good for me. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down and hands up, and we start with Grippy News. Uh, I mean, by technicality, because one can question whether this movie actually exists, the role is played by Anne Hathaway. Yes, it is. And Video Drew, to, to keep take, the tie going. Take the words right out of my mouth. Uh, the accent was horrific. Anne Hathaway. We're all tied up here. What a first round by Griffey Nooms and Video Drew. It is 7-7. Seven, seven, so both competitors working on a perfect round here in not a very easy first round here. And let's get to the next question mark. 
It's tournament season, and they are in playoff shape. Your final question for a perfect round for both of you in the category of crime movies. Who plays Handsome Bob, the charming British member of a heist crew in 2003's The Italian Job? Now, can Christian name the officer that they were impersonating in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure? No. Officer Five. Van Halen. Four, oh, three, two, one. Pens down, hands up, please. And we start with video, Drew, for the perfect round. I had Jason Statham. That was correct. And oh, what a twist. Jason Statham. All right, so we got ourselves two perfect rounds. Two perfect rounds. It is 8-8. Eight, eight. Griffey Nooms, video, Drew, they both are going to have an opportunity to get a bonus point. Now, because you both got it, same as the previous eight. You write it down. And you show it during, after that 15 seconds. All right, here we go. Here is your bonus question. What year saw the release of the films Stand By Me, Highlander, and Three Amigos? Ooh, that's a fun one to ask you this question. I put you the multiplex. Which theater you walking into? Stand By Me. Yep, I'll be seeing you there. <laughs> you guys want to see Dead Body? Four. Hey, I remember. I remember that reference too. One, pens down, hands up, and we're gonna start with Griffey Nooms. Nineteen eighty-seven. It's incorrect. Video Drew. Nineteen eighty-six. That is correct. Video Drew goes up by one. Video Drew takes the lead over Griffey Nooms going into round number two. All right, Mark. The rules around number two, how do they go? Very impressive round from both of you. Video drew the one point lead and in round number two, it is the wheel round where the stakes can really change because each competitor gets a spin at that thar virtual wheel. Once they settle on a category, four questions emerge. Each question is worth two points. There is no penalty for missing a question. However, stealing is available in round number two. So if you're not sure of the answer, you can ask us for multiple choice. We're nice fellas of some knowledge. We'll give you four options, one of which we think is the correct answer. At that point, the value of the question recedes to one all jte rules and challenges still intact video drew you have the option of spinning that wheel first or deferring to your opponent how are you feeling oh i'm feeling great i i love being here i'm here to make friends uh and influence people and i, I just want to say uh really good first round griffin i'm also a huge uh, fan of your mom uh julie i loved earth girls are easy she's the best uh so yeah i'll go first Let's, yeah, just, let's, let's let me go first, and we can end this right here. Nice to see you, by the way. Griffin Newman looks like a Mario Kart character that works at an adult bookstore. Tom Dagnino begs for change in front of adult bookstores. Mm -hmm. This is both That's accurate. Hey, Kaiser, I told heaven. you. I told you today we're being really nice. We're gonna cool it. This is my big break. This is my chance to go to Hollywood. This is my chance to live live the high life like like Griffin Newman. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna play it super sweet today, and no weird stuff. So stop trimming your beard and let's let's figure out what we're doing here. Let's spin that wheel and play some dungeon ball, baby. Just to let you know, Mark. Video Drew actually lives in Hollywood, and Griffin's in New York. So. And I used to live in New York, and now I do not. It's correct to there. He's on that uh, cable access show there, uh, Mr. Wizard. Pixar. Pixar, so 60 seconds. Ooh, I do love Pixar. I actually am like, we love Pixar, Pixar for sure. Uh, it's a fan favorite, it's a dungeon favorite. But this wheel is like, for once, the reel is actually in Video Drew's favor. Maybe it's just because I'm the best and uh, deserved all those roles I never got in the Delaware uh, theatrical plays I was in. Let's spin it again. I'm gonna spin again. All right. I concur. To be fair, Delaware, very competitive theater state. Oh, well, yeah. It, it, Hey, we had, we had Aubrey Plaza. And Stephen King is Ooh. the. I'll well, take it. You should. Yeah. Now we're gonna we're gonna take this. You're gonna have to. But yeah. we're not only well, gonna take it. No we're gonna what. run it. All right, Grimmy News uh, is back, and now Video Drew. We'll get four questions in the realm of Stephen King. Are you ready, Video Drew? Uh huh. Who co-wrote? and directed 2003's Dreamcatcher. Who <laughs> co-wrote and directed? I just saw this movie. I'm going to need multiple choice for this one, though, because I don't think I know it. Is it A, Lawrence Kasdan, B, George A. Romero, C, Frank Darabont, D, David Kep? Well, 
Let's say, uh, A, Lawrence Kasdan. It's correct for one point. All right, question two. Peter Askin directed which 2014 film based on a Stephen King novella that starred Joan Allen and Anthony LaPaglia? Oh, man. Now I'm blanking all my face. I'll get multiple for this one, too. I'm going to play it safe. All right. Is it A, Hearts in Atlantis? B, Spell? C, a good marriage. D, in the tall grass. Can I get a repeat of the options one more time? You can. A, hearts in Atlantis. B, sell. C, a good marriage. D, in the tall grass. I'm going to say hearts in Atlantis. It is incorrect. And Griffey Nooms, a chance to steal. I'm going to give you the question and the multiple choice. Peter Askin directed which 2014 film based on a Stephen King novella that starred Joan Allen and Anthony LaPaglia? Is it A, Hearts in Atlantis, B, Cell, C, A Good Marriage, D, In the Tall Grass? Uh, I'm going to say In the Tall Grass. Incorrect. Looking for A Good Marriage. Yeah, that's the only one that's a novella. Yeah, I am. All right, here you go. Here's question three, Video Drew. Oof. What punk rock band wrote a single for 1989's Pet Cemetery, simply titled Pet Cemetery, that played over the film's end credits? <laughs> yeah. Wow, these are deep cut Stephen King questions. Good job, PJ. I'm going to take a multiple for this one, too. Is it A, The Clash, B, Social Distortion, C, The Ramones, D, Bad Religion? requires music knowledge uh, of which I don't have um, let's do let's go with C C the Ramones is correct for one more point all right wow. final question here video Ooh. Drew who plays Byron Hadley the brutal captain of the prison guards in Shawshank Redemption Oh, yeah. It's, um... Five. Four. Three. Repeat. Two. That is the first one. Who plays Byron Hadley, the brutal captain of the prison guards in the Shawshank Redemption? I know exactly who it is. I'm just blanking on his name. I'm not going to waste another uh, repeat. Let's go to multiple. No. All right. Is it a, William Sadler. B, Bob Gunton. C, Clancy Brown. D, Gil Bellows. Man, once you get shook in this game, it's hard to recover. It's Clancy Brown. That is correct. So one more point for your video, Drew. She doesn't give up any points in the round, but she goes to multiple choice a few times, gets herself to a four-point lead over Griffey Nooms. And now we remove video, Drew, and we bring Bye. in Gucci. Iron Mark Sharp here with the golfer's elbow. But Video Drew can't have the gold bladder because I performed the surgery and we yeah. already fenced it on the black market to Dom DeLuise's cousin. So it's already gone. Yeah, so Ginsuk pretty... looks out for its own. We don't trust doctors. Yeah, it's we trust it's, ourselves. It's, you know, on the line for this tournament is a Rolex mm. presidential that I got from the DMX estate, RIP. Whoever wins gets it. If all four of them get it, then I'm going to have to buy three more. So we know what's on the line here. Yeah. Let's take, you know, you got your, you got your repeats. You got everything you got going on. Yeah. We did what she, we did what she did. What we, we wanted her to do, which is checked on on everything to steal, no matter what. Let's go 12, eight. Let's roll the wheel and see what's up. And here's the spin. Spin round and round it goes. Stephen King, not as kind to video drew as many thought he would be. The two thousands, the two thousands are 60 seconds to decide if you want to stick on the two thousands. How you feeling, help Papa? Oh, I'll take this. This is my yeah. decade. I can take this, baby. Let's do it. Let's do it. Make no mistake about it. So now, Mark Griffey Nooms is going to get four questions in the realm of 2000s. Griffey Nooms, 2000s. You entered the decade a boy. You emerged a man who has some sort of cup with him to take a sip of water before you begin this round. Oh, look at that. Interesting. All right. Four questions. 
two points apiece unless you need multiple choice. Your first one in the decade of the 2000s. In the film Hot Fuzz, who plays Simon Pegg's ex-girlfriend, Janine? Uh, that is a uh, masked, uh, hazmat-suited Kate Blanchett. Not a machine, nor Dabeen, but that is the correct Janine in this circumstance. Kate Blanchett, for two points, and all of a sudden, Video Drew's lead is halved to a two-point lead. Your next question, sir, in the category of the 2000s. In Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, who plays Dr. Howard? who runs Lacuna and has an affair with his receptionist, Mary. Uh, Dr. Howard Mirziak is played by Tom Wilkinson. And I would trust him to perform your gallbladder surgery over your manager. That is correct. And we have a tied ball game. Two questions remain for Newman in this round. His penultimate question in the decade of the 2000s is in the film Triple X. Samuel L. Jackson plays an agent from which United States government organization who recruits Xander Cage for a mission? I'm gonna go multiple choice on this one. Multiple choice for a point, your four options. Is it A, the CIA, B, the FBI, C, the NSA, or D, the Secret Service? I'm going to say CNSA. They're looking at our cell phones right now. That is correct for a point. And there is a lead for Griffin Newman downtown leading Video Drew by a point. He can pad that lead more with his final question in the category of the 2000s. Here we go. In the film Almost Famous, believing William is older, he has hired Sight Unseen to write an article about Stillwater for which magazine? Uh, that is Rolling Stone. Not to be confused with Cream. That is correct for two more points. And Christian, Video Drew entered with a one-point lead, getting the bonus question that Newman missed. But now we enter round three. Very different scenario. It's Newman with a three-point lead over Video Drew. That's right. Griffin Newman has a three-point lead as we head into the third round. This is the final round, Mark. How do the rules work on this round? Very entertaining, well-played match thus far. Round three promises to be more of the same. In round number three, we need some help from our competitors. You're each going to give us a series of numbers ranging from one to 20. We need three numerals from each of you in total that are different than your opponent because each integer corresponds to a unique category of Schmodown know-how. Your first question is worth two points. Your next one is worth three points. Your final question is worth five points. No penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in round number three. Video Drew had the honor of spinning the wheel first, but now it is downtown who has the right to give us his three lucky numbers first. Griffin, from 1 to 20, what feels fortunate? I'll take 1, 9, and 19, please. 1, 9, and 19 for downtown and for Video Drew. Challenges aren't real numbers. I'll take 5, 2, and 10. 5, 2, and 10 for Video Drew. Great round. Thank you got everything. You still got all three of your JTEs. Mm -hmm. let's let's you know like i said let's we get her to her five pointer she's gonna have to answer that there's no question about it yeah. i don't believe it'll get there let's hang a minus one like we usually do and we'll call it a day move into the second round cool you doing anything after this thinking about it i might go play golf again just icing down my arm a little bit you know we yeah. got to see how it goes uh i got a couple of uh, different ailments that i'm nursing right now so you know we'll see but uh, you know it's all good maybe i'll get How's a the gallbladder doing it's it's good it's, it's moving through customs no, no. Yeah. no. Good uh, thing. Which gallbladder? Griffin's or yours? There's another one floating around. I shouldn't have asked. JT's. Win or lose, it's been a pleasure playing against draft days, Griffin Newman, and alimony days, Tom Dagnino. Hmm. Drew, the season comes down to this. I need you to shake things up, get the blood flowing, get the blood flowing, get the energy running through your brain. It all comes down to this. This oh, is cool. your season. This okay. is your tournament to win. You can beat this knucklehead on the five. You got two JTEs. Use the clock. Breathe. Be zen. We've been training for this the whole year. I love you. I'm happy I got to be here for this match despite shooting the greatest television show in the history of CBS television. I love you, Drew. Let's do this. Yay, we did it. All right, so Mark, Video Drew, and Griffey Nooms, they are ready to go. Video Drew will be going first. She needs to at least hit her three in order to tie the game should she miss the two, but here's the two point. Yep, as I recover from the knowledge that Kaiser's on set of 60 minutes somehow, we go to 
Video Drew's two-point question. You selected number five, and that corresponds to the highfalutin champagne sipping world of the Oscars. And for two points, to cut the lead of Newman to one, your question. What best picture winning film follows a CIA agent who uses a fake movie production as cover to rescue six American hostages in Iran? Uh, Argo. Argo is correct for two points. The lead is cut to one, and now Christian Video Drew can take the lead if she hits her three pointer. That's absolutely right. She now, Mark, she chose, she chose category two. Category two. And that corresponds to the world of black cinema. For the lead, Video Drew, your question. Which singer stars as Savannah Jackson, a successful TV producer in the 1995 romantic film, Waiting to Exhale? Five. Four. Repeat. Three. Second one. All right, you have one JTE will remaining. Categories Black Cinema. The question, which singer stars as Savannah Jackson, a successful TV producer in the 1995 romantic film Waiting to Exhale? Whitney Houston? That is correct for three points. Whoa! And I jumped on that mark. I'm sorry. I thought I thought I asked it. Uh, hey, so, you got excited, as we all should, when Whitney's name comes up. She is a legend. All right. So Griffey Nooms now has an opportunity to get his to tie the game here. To tie the game with his two point question mark. He chose category one. That is the world of crime movies. Crime movies. Crime films. Crime. The same genre that might have involved a broken nose of my compatriot. Now is the category of film for your two-pointer, which could tie the lead. Here it is. Who directed the British crime film Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels? Uh, that, is, that is the uh, beneficiary of one of the uh, biggest, uh, I believe, alimony payouts in history, uh, Guy Ritchie. We should all be so lucky, and that is correct for two points. And Christian, just like that, we got us a tied ball game. We do, and we're going to stick with Griffey Nooms, who has an opportunity to get the lead here should he hit his three-point question mark, and he chose Category 9. Category 9. And that corresponds to, if you're a fan of The Simpsons, he went by Senior Spielbergo. We're just going to call him Steven Spielberg for now. Three points for a three-point lead. Griffin, your question. Which Steven Spielberg film co-stars Terry Garr Melinda Dillon, and Bob Balaban. Uh, the name of that motion picture is Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Funny enough. Also stars The Devil's Tower, and that is correct for three points. It's a three-point lead, and Christian, you hate to give Kaiser any sort of credit, but he was a prophet saying that it might come down to the five-pointer. Well, here we go. Video, Drew, it all comes down to this. It's a five-pointer she's got to have. She's got to hit it. If she hits it, it bounces back to Griffey Nooms. He'll be forced to hit his five in order to win. But if she misses, Griffey Nooms will go on to face Josh Horowitz in round number two. All right. No, Mark, no. she chose category 10. Category 10. She did. Category 10. And that corresponds to the decade I was alive in, the 1980s. And we got to have. Okay, thank you. And we have hands up, Drew. Oh. Please. Thank you. And your question. For five points. Wait, hold on. Regain the lead. Kaiser, is Kaiser challenging? What's he ch challenging? He ch I believe he said close encounters of a, th of a third kind. It's close oh, encounters wait, no, of no, the no. third kind. Yeah. All right, that's, that's fine. Do you, want, do, you want to, do you want to challenge it? Of course. It's the Drew, third you... kind. I believe he said a third kind. You want to, do you want to challenge it and video, Drew? Do you want to uh, challenge sure, it? I, I defer to Kaiser on this one. Tom, any counter argument before we make our ruling? No, he said what he said. He said he said the right the right name of the movie. Yeah, I mean, what I, did he say? Well, what did he? Say? I, believe, I believe he said, said of a third kind, and it's the third kind. I might have thrown an uh in there. I believe I said. No, you might have been, but then you might be wrong. The also. third kind. I believe I right. said the word the. Uh, ah, uh, that's different. Right. I believe I said the word the, and we can we review got, the tape. If you did, got, then you did, got, and then you get it. We we got it. We got it. All right, so we'll be right back.
We are back. Well, uh, some of us, most of us are back. And after deliberating with the judges, we have come up with the following ruling of the challenge. Griffin Newman said the correct title of the movie displayed the knowledge of Close Encounters of the Third Kind. And so the points will be awarded. And the question now does go to Video Drew for her five points. The challenge is overruled. All right, so here we go. We are now going to go to Video Drew. Should she hit this question, should she hit it, it bounces back to Griffey Nooms. However, if she misses it, then Griffey Nooms will go on to face Josh Horowitz in round number two. All right, you chose category 10. Yes. Video Drew and Mark, what do you got? Category 10, and I was just about to reminisce about the 1980s, which I remember some of. So Video Drew, those movies that came out in the 80s, any one of them, could be an answer or could be the subject of this question for five points and to force Newman to hit his five-pointer, your question. Is that it? <laughs> it's a psychological test to Oof. make sure that you get the right one. I, I, I like this question as well. All right. For five points and the lead. Gregory Hines plays Detective Ray Hughes in what 1986 action comedy? Have hands up, video Drew. Repeat. Last All one. Right. Final one. The category is the 1980s. The question. Gregory Hines plays Detective Ray Hughes in what 1986 action comedy? Five, four, three. Running scared. Put his tap dancing shoes on and he started running scared. That is a correct answer, wow. Christian. Video Drew hits it. And now we go back to Newman for a five pointer. He's got to have. This is an incredible turn of events because Video Drew has now put herself in the position to win. If Griffey Nooms misses the five pointer, then Video Drew will be going on to play Josh Horowitz in round number two. All right, Mark, the category for Griffey Nooms for his five point was category 19. And Bernie Kosar's number now corresponds to horror movies. The really scary movies, usually all the way in the back of Blockbuster before that other section. Here is your question. Downtown Griffin Newman for five points and the win to advance in the tournament. David Kep wrote and directed what? 1999 ghostly thriller that stars Kevin Bacon. I believe the name of that picture is Stir of Echoes. And your winner! Advancing to the next round, downtown Griffin Noom! Big bull, boy, big bull! What a match it was. Drew kept a fighting. She kept on going and made Griffy Nooms earn it. Griffy Nooms hits the five pointer and advances. He will be going on to face Josh Horowitz in round number two. Gentlemen, three points. Congratulations. We're going to put you in the winner's circle there with Steph Sabra in just a moment. I mean, Grimmy Nooms, the reason why he's been so impressive is because of the opponents that he's playing are giving him these great fights, whether it was Hoyk, whether it was Bancroft, and now Video Drew. Video Drew would not go quietly into the night. She made sure that she just kept, she took her time. Video, that's the best I've seen Video Drew play. She played so smart, and she stayed in there, and she, and she just lost by that by that much. She played amazing, and like most of her matches, she is, in fact, the star of today's event. Just unfortunately for her, not quite enough to become the winner in advance in the tournament. That belongs to downtown Griffin Newman, who once again displayed an uncanny knack for knowing the game in and out, being able to maneuver it, even for a rookie. He plays like an experienced veteran, and he now has the honor alongside his manager, who really doesn't deserve it. But he's going to be there as well. Tom Dagnito will now be talking to the great Steph Sabra. Steph, I imagine the fellows are ready for more in round two. 
Griffey, Newman, Gucci, congrats. What a match. That was so fun from start to finish. Yeah. You are one of, oh, the, yeah, there it is. Bring out the fin stock shirt, exchange shirt. Griffey, it is. congratulations. You, Thank you played incredible and you kept it amusing all the way through with the help Thank of you. Video Drew, of course one of the most amazing and greats in the league. But I got to ask you, how are you feeling after incredible performance around one, two, and three, taking it all the way to the five pointer? Look, I, I haven't had to go to a five before. And I see some of the snarksters over on the Reddits, the Facebooks, the social media channels saying, how can we put downtown in the larger conversation of the best players out there if he's never been pushed to answer his five? Now, of course, this cuts both ways, right? A certain hand not being pushed to a five shows a certain strength, but I understand it. And I was, I genuinely relish the opportunity to take down a five pointer. Gucci, I got to ask you because you have the rookie squad, but like Mark and Christian were saying, Griffey has not been playing like a rookie. And now he was the first one of your team members entered into this tournament. Now he's three and O oh, and he just did an ex incredible job. How are you feeling about his performance and moving forward in the tournament? Well, it doesn't surprise me. I mean, you know, we drafted him where we drafted him because he was there. He shouldn't have been there. He should have been the number one pick overall. He should have been. And I, I, I say this all the time. This man is going to sweep through this tournament. I mean, we got three other guys in this tournament as well who are fantastic. This man is just, he's on a different level. The trivia knowledge here is unprecedented. I mean, look, hats off the video, Drew and Kaiser. They played great. She played fantastic. I thought she was, I thought we were going to minus one her with, without a question. Uh, she came to play though. I mean, she must've been studying. She got her knowledge. Uh, she did really, really well. But when you're playing somebody like Griffin Newman, you cannot cannot make a mistake and he proved it right here and that's it that was a really tough five pointer i, I guarantee maybe three percent of the league would have got that five pointer maybe he definitely proved it and now i've just gotten confirmation that you will be playing in the undercard against horowitz in new york on october 9th how are you feeling about that are that's you excited solid. to be playing in person hometowns, like <laughs> hometowns. Look, I mean, as you said, that's the number one uh, headline for me here. I am thrilled at the opportunity to finally play a match that is not, I repeat, not in my bathroom. Uh, this thing has really worn out its use. Uh, you can't see it now because we're in a tighter, more narrow, sort of quibby style shot. But uh, I have a lot of uh, strip paint from when I previously had the duct taped yoga mat this this is done it's it's a picture wrap on this bathroom i want to get back out there i want to get into the field i want to be playing people i r l so i'm thrilled about that and horowitz you know in a certain way we're two sides of the uh, same coin you know earnest boyish jews hosting podcasts collecting movie trivia knowledge in new york city and i'm glad that the schmodown is coming to us to let us both play home field advantage in the city that we know exactly yeah. gucci yeah. how are you feeling about that lineup against those two i mean look uh, put anybody in front of us we'll knock them down that's just what we do here i plan on having uh all four guys in the semifinals of this singles tournament and it's going to propel us right to the top we had a, a game plan in the beginning of the year and we're sticking to it like i said sink or swim but we're going to be swimming all the way to the championship and if you need a gold bladder just let us know we can find one for you <laughs> Griffey, I just found out you're Jewish, so Mazel Tov on the big win today. And congrats, um, and I'm looking forward to see your match on October 9th. Steph Sabra is accurate. It has been confirmed. Griffin Newman versus Josh Horowitz, round number two in New York, in Brooklyn. Both New York gentlemen, both undefeated in the undercard. It's going to be some kind of show on the undercard of the, the singles title on the line that night, Mark. And it's going to be live in front of a packed house at the Barclays Center. Just down the road from that is the Roulette Theater, where we will be. There might still be a few tickets left at the SchmodownLive.com. But regardless of that, it's going to be quite an event. And either Griffin Newman or Video Drew would have been a great competition for Horowitz. But it is going to be Newman. But you cannot forget about how great Video Drew was today. Entertaining us and dazzling us with correct movie trivia answers and coming up clutch time and time again she ran into a tough category that she thought was going to be her friend in stephen king it's generally how stephen king movies turn out she came back with a strong round three not quite enough to get over the hump 
And so now we will go back to Steph Sabra, who does have video, Drew, and her manager, Adam, excuse me, Kaiser. You know what that is? What That's is that? Griffin Newman's gallbladder. Oh. Oh, we're just going to eat it. All right, we are starting off with power, Kaiser. I expect nothing less from you. But video, Drew, I got to say, I know the shtick was to be normal today, but I'm so thankful that you are the least normal and most extraordinary human that I've ever seen. And the way you played today was so fun and incredible. Christian and Mark talked about it from the beginning that this season you weren't playing. You were playing better than ever. And it feels like it showed today exceptionally well. How are you feeling about that? Well, look, that round two is going to bother me and haunt me to the day I die because, you know, this was a, I played perfect except for one question. Yes, I checked a multiple on, on round two, and that's sort of what sunk me. I know Clancy Brown. Of course I know Clancy Brown. We're close personal Clancy friends. But uh, of I know the Ramones one, too. I also know the, the novella, the only one of those four options, this novella is a good marriage. I could have done it better, but I needed to slow down and, and take my time. However, that five-pointer was all Kaiser. Kaiser came on one of my shows, Cinema Bias and had a swatch running scared. And I think that's the only time I've ever uh, nailed my two, three, and five. So yeah, I said we were doing a pretty good job. You nailed it. And I love, I don't know if that was a tactic to run the clock, but it, you had me there. That was really fun. And Kaiser, I love the way that you were managing Video Drew today. I feel like it was super supportive. You told her the technique that you wanted to her to take, which was take the time, use the JTs, and that was exactly what she did. How'd you feel about her performance? First round, she lit it up. This girl yeah. was on fire. And I was so proud when she hit the Whitney Houston question. That's just, <laughs> just such a big, big pull. She played a great match. Um, you know, I mean, she, you know, the, the, the King questions were pretty solid and, and for anyone to navigate that minefield the way she did, you got to take her hats off uh, to her. I mean, I think everyone knows I love playing with this woman. She's one of my favorite in the league and she's one of my favorite players. So I don't ever want to miss a match. I'm glad I could be here today. Um, you know, Griffin Newman, he's, he's a damn good player. I've been a fan of the man's podcast for a long time. Uh, he's a, he's a series regular on a bunch of mesothelioma commercials, which air during Jim Cramer's Mad Money, you know, so like I'm a fan of that. Like uh, I, I wish him and, and, and Guchasaurus uh, the best of luck going forward in their tournament. I think uh, I, I think they got a good chance. The rest of the chumps on his team have no chance. So hopefully this kid pans out for him. But uh, Video Drew, we, we, we've done a lot of good this season. We had a blast. Maybe we'll, we'll get to get in the ring again, but I uh, couldn't be more proud of you. Thank you. And just for the record, I also knew Stir of Echoes immediately. Uh, that's that's one of the best movies with painted black used in the film. So I know that film. So I should be clear that I know all of his answers as well as the answers I didn't know, as well as the answers that I did not know. I, I love the way you them. just cleared the record. You also had that Jason Statham pull that was really, really fun to Ooh. watch. Kind nice of know. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. The Whitney Houston beat it by a little bit, but the Jason Statham pull was quite sure. exciting. Kaiser, I know the dungeon has taken some hard losses, and I'm I'm curious from hearing from you, like, what's the rebuild look like? How do you get back from this? I know you have a few competitors in the tournament, Bateman versus Perry. We have Dan entering as well. Don't forget about David Del Rio, the diamond. Let's not get, let's not forget we don't have him in here. Yeah. So what is the rebuild plan? Are you, are you talking to them or, or is it stick to the strategy that you've always I think had? everybody knows, Steph, Steph, I think everyone knows at this point, I don't look ahead. I don't look behind. You know what I mean? This is just every day is a new start to the season for me. I don't care. Like, I don't care if we win belts, we lose belts. As long as at the end of the year, we're the champions, then everybody, including Video Drew and anyone has, has built towards that. So I'm ready. I got the best team in the league. I, I knew that since day one and we're ready to prove it. I, I mean, listen, hell is coming. Just like that movie with Kurt Russell, the one with the, about the tombstones. I forget the name of it. <laughs> Welcome, well, the good news is you have the most fashionable champion on your team right there. Video Drew is so great to watch you compete. Always great to see you, Kaiser. Mark Christian, back to you. As Mark said, the undercard will be Griffin Newman versus Josh Horowitz in the second round. And then either Marisol McKee or the new movie trivia showdown champion of the world, Ethan Irwin, will face one of these few people. Either JTE, Chance Ellison, Adam Collins, Jeff Snyder, one of them will be battling for the title. Woo, good matchup there and a good match today here, partner. We keep cruising along in the tournament, the ultimate schmodown.
I, I won that once upon a time. But now, what does the future hold? Check out more Schmodown matches and keep it right here at the Movie Trivia Schmodown wherever you enjoy us. Tell your friends, tell your family. That's Christian. I'm Mark, and we'll see you real soon on what's the name of the show, Christian? The Movie Trivia Schmodown.